Bring that, that grinder attitude. As you see Caleb Swanigan getting physical inside there. And even guys like Spike Albright right there. And laying Spike, his body out. Yeah, Spike Albright serving suspensions for violations of team rules. You're going to see some guys get some minutes as Spike Albright with the three from the top of the key. Swanigan with the ball gets it to Albrecht. We're seeing a lot of perimeter-oriented offense so far with this kind of smaller lineup. As there, a little bit of explosiveness from the big guy. Well, how's that for perimeter for you? And that was... Uh... ...in here at Purdue and, and hoping to be a little bit more efficient than he was last year is Vincent Edwards with the three from the top of the key. Yeah, and that's just the versatility of Vincent. Bain over the summer, that's an advantage that a lot of teams didn't get. Able to go ahead and get some team chemistry as right there, too easy for the big guy inside. Isaac Haas, it's another easy. Get that up to 50%. And a lot of these are open looks, too, especially when the Screaming Eagles have to double down on a guy like uh, Biggie Swanigan. And just as we say that, of course, Dakota Mathias lights it up from downtown. Yeah, Dakota. And those shots might have been advisable, you know, at the high school level, but against these, even these Division II opponents, uh, these college players, it's just a whole different game, and Carson Edwards is going to have to learn that the hard way. And a big little bit into way the memory back books. there. Even a Brad Miller, you know, if you really want to go back, some good Boilermaker big men have come through these ranks. As There's a steal, and the pass to Grady Eifert is good, so he'll get the hoop and the harm. Nice job by the freshman and Carson Edwards to find him. Games for the Wolverines. Didn't really do much statistically, but able to come in and provide a spark for the Boilermakers. Is right there, the left-hand slam from the freshman from Texas, Carson Edwards. Getting up, it up, no good, rebounded by Swan again. Now Edwards with it in the open floor. And he'll finish with the right hand. It's Carson Edwards able to get out in transition. Picks up a bat, the Fort Wayne native, as the missed jumper from Swanigan's no good, but the Boilermakers get it back. And Albrecht knocks down the three from the right wing. So Spike Albrecht has two threes, two of three with it on the left side. Inside now for Edwards. Edwards over to Matthias. Good ball movement, pinging it around the perimeter. And that's how you do it right there, Mike. That is how you do it. The Boilermaker and Tommy Loose if they have to. But I don't think that's something Coach Painter and staff really want to do. Is a nice block by Isaac Haas on the help. Eight rebounds, seven assists to go along with 12 points. So right there, make that 14 points. A great look there to Caleb Swanigan on start of the official start of the 2016-2017 season. Boilmakers will still be without Ryan Klein and Basil Smotherman. And so that does it here from Mackey Arena, the Boilmakers. Come away victorious, 85-63 over Southern Indiana. Once again, they'll be back in action against McNeese State on November.